Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up both your Nintendo Switch Joy-Con, so you heard me correctly, both of them, to your Linux machine so you can use it on the RPCS3 emulator, which is a PlayStation 3 emulator. So let's, you know, get started. Let me show you the controllers. You should be seeing the controllers right now. There's a couple of things, actually the one thing that you need to do before we can connect them up and we're going to connect them via bluetooth so make sure you have bluetooth it, doo -doo 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 -doo. go to your browser you want to download <coughs> this joycon input driver from Roiking. if you just google it Roiking joycon it will come up right here and it's really cool that this guy made this media like two three years ago and uh, you know it works really really well Overall, I think it works well. Okay, so what you want to do, I'll provide a link to it, so don't worry. Go to the release, there's one release. Then click that, it will download it. I'm gonna cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. And now what you want to do is go ahead and launch this up. So to launch it up, you want to open up a new terminal. You want to navigate to wherever you downloaded it or wherever you placed it which is for me there as you can see it's right there to open it you want to put sudo dot forward slash the name of it if you just put jcd because there's nothing else that starts with that click tab it should come up or you can input it you know yourself manually click enter you're asking for your password this is the password of your linux user that you use to log in and okay so we're in now even though the password didn't look like it was typing there was no password character like in you know chart any asterisk it was still typing so just bear that in mind one second i can see something on my keyboard a little bit of dirt once <laughs> okay so we're in the console so what we want to do now is actually connect the controllers up if you can you probably can notice you can hear that my voice is a little off but bear with me go to bluetooth settings and in here you want to connect one each of them one by one so to do it you just grab the controller see that button there keep that pressed this will start flashing there we go it will appear here joy con out in a moment and the l stands for left because this is the left one this will say connected soon okay this is still flashing we're going to fix that in a second and as you can see it's already recognized a player one because if we go to this automatically fixed it if we go to no, that's the rpcs3 in terminal open it up again one second man there we go okay so it has detected it which is fantastic so next what we want to do is do the same with the right one you can just use one if you want to but i'm going to use both because you know we need as many controls as we can get so keep that pressed flashing now it's appeared as r press that it will say connected soon okay so what you can see and we can actually close this down if we open up the terminal so both of them are connected but what you probably notice is this one is assigned to player one this one is assigned to player two to make both of them on player one so like we're using them as like a, a pair so we're using it as like a single controller you have to keep now you have to press the l button uh, let's see if we can focus in that one and that one together so there you go that has mapped it into that now and just also press these two as well so there we go okay so that's all set now we need to keep this open and you'll need to reopen it every time you want to use it go into your rpcs3 go to pads and in here make sure you've probably selected you know keyboard by default go to ev dev if it's not appearing click refresh and as you can see we've got the full joy con or individual ones we want the full one and there's a little thing to mention you can add a profile 
you name it, click OK, and that way you could have different button configurations. Maybe one game you want the analog stick to be mapped to the D-pad, and maybe another one you just want the D, I mean the face buttons to be mapped to the you know the shoulder buttons. You could do some crazy cool stuff. So what I'm gonna do is click restore to defaults. So this is what it actually probably looks like it may look different so what we actually want to do is go through every single control and make sure they're assigned correctly for me i found they weren't so click that okay and now what you want to do is do the right analog stick so push that up push it left if you don't remap the analog stick if you look down here as you can see i can move it correctly if we look on the left one however as you can see, it is improperly moving because it's assigned to you know these buttons. So we, we don't want that, but we're gonna fix that in a second. We've done that. We need to do R1 and R2, R1, R2, and now start. We want this one to be this click in. That's all done. Now let's do the left side of it. So let's do select. Let's do the form. They were already mapped. But again, the default mapping for you may be different because sometimes they can be. And it's always best to double check with controllers, you know, that aren't a PlayStation or an Xbox controller. Now let's do sort this out. There we go. And vibration unfortunately does not work. That's just a little caveat. And you can select a different device class, but we don't need that. If we look at the one second, uh, click save. One second, I'm just going to move this over a little bit. I'm going to move it over a bit more so that this is zoom factor. I can't properly see everything. Okay, so you should be able to see this if you couldn't see it before because the you know my preview of the controllers should be here. And as you can see down in here, we can move this. We can move this and if i press these buttons it triggers it on the trigger thresholds so like so okay so we're all good to go mm, you know make sure you do click save because if you click close or click the x arrow up here up here you know you, you won't be zoomed in like me then it will not save it so click save you're all good to go so let me show you working in a game let's launch up minecraft So as you can see, the X button is working. X meaning the PlayStation X, which is this, which is the B button on the Switch Joy-Con. But I think you were picking it up as an A button when we was mapping it. So it's like really, really you know, all over the place. But it does work. So that's the beauty of it. Once you got it mapped, it's all good to go. I'm going to turn the volume down a bit. I always love the Minecraft music. I'm not going to turn that too much. That should be enough. So as you can see, we can move around. So we're moving. And we can do some mining. And get in there, grab that. Let's place this block. And there we go. And that's it. I would say, and I am going to say, that this solution is not as good as using a lot, something like a PlayStation 4 controller using something like an Xbox controller this is just not as good but overall if you really want to this is still a pretty decent solution it still works pretty darn well so that is it that's what I wanted to show you if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video